My name is Heather Adams. We farm on the southern boundary of the Stirling Range National Park. I was raised on the northern slopes of the Prongrup Range on a cattle property. Um, and then, um, and while I was a child, I was fortunate enough to just roam free out in the, in the outdoors, so in the creek, up the mountains, and I think that's what fostered a real um, love and a strong bond for me with the, with the land. So aside from farming, um, I do a lot of in environmental work with local community land care groups as well. Uh, on our farming property, uh, we have noticed over the years um, that um, we are seeing more extreme weather events which are impacting on our, our productivity and also on the environment. Um, over many, many years we've had a, um, a strong focus on protecting as much of the natural environment as we can and we are fortunate enough to have um, one of the few waterways that run out of the southern side of Stirling Range National Park runs through our property and we have the Calvin River running along the southern boundary of our property. So we've done a lot of work um, protecting uh, those waterways and certainly that's been um, a, big, um, a big help as far as uh, minimising the uh, impact of some of these extreme weather events we're seeing because we're not seeing anywhere near the same degree of um, water erosion that we would have once, once seen. Um, we were early adopters of no-till cropping so we uh, seed with a disc seeder have done for uh, around 30 years now uh, so that means we retain all our stubble we generally don't do any tillage so uh, we don't have um, land that's sort of bare and quite fragile and much more prone to wind uh, erosion in those um, extreme storm events and also uh, water erosion they do say that there's potential probably for us to have more rainfall in the summertime, which traditionally for us has been a dry season. Um, so this could provide opportunities to grow warm season crops um, and um, perennial pastures might be much more productive in our area if we end up with more summer rainfall. So we have to think about ways of using um, more summer rainfall if that does um, end up happening uh, rather than just having it wasted and just ending up with lots of weeds in the paddocks that we don't want. Uh, so potentially we may need to adapt uh, the way we're farming to, to just adapt to taking better, uh, making better use of any rainfall that comes in the summertime. As well prepared uh, as we can be and, and able to uh, meet the challenges ahead by being um, fairly open-minded about the sort of ways that we may need to change and adapt to, um, yeah, just to mitigate risk um, with, with that may be associated with a change in climate and more extreme uh, weather events at different times.